joined by Miss Shanae, and she is the author of The Boreal Gourmet and a columnist with North of Ordinary. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Mish. So I think that today you are sharing some spruce tips yes. tips with me. Is that right? That is exactly right. What we're seeing here is the very tip of the spruce tip that hasn't quite emerged fully yet. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There's a little brown husk. It's tiny. It's almost like a bud. When it's ready, it's going to look something more like this. This oh. is from last season. I've pulled these out of the freezer to cook with today. One of the things that you can make with spruce tips is uh, mango salsa. Mango, a little bit of red onion, lime juice, lime peel, spruce tips. In the early spring when it's just on the edge of the tree is really lemony. Combination of spruce tip and lemon or lime um, really works. This looks beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Really? It's perfect for any occasion, particularly the summer, the early summer. Mm. What do you think? It's actually fantastic. It's pretty mm. good, eh? So refreshing. Yeah, really light. Wow, it's delicious. When do spruce tips come in season? Generally, ballpark is uh, middle of May to the middle of June. Do you ever eat them raw? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, we're, all, of, all of what we're eating today um, is made with raw spruce tips, except for the uh, spruce tip shortbread. Right. So what we're going to do is build a nice little smoked salmon plate. The elements are some homemade ciabatta. Ooh. There we are. Really nice little piles of beautiful smoked salmon. So this is the spruce tip butter. Bread it on the bread. And I'll give you a nice little fork. You can elegantly place the salmon on the bread. Okay. And then a little bit of um, red onion over top. The creaminess and smoothness of the, of the butter adds something quite different. And then there's a little bit of um, grated lemon zest in there and some mm. lemon juice. Feels very light mm -hmm. and summery. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. Cool, I'm so Delicious. glad you like it. Do you want to try dandelion greens? I yes, think, I think you dandelion do. greens aren't spruce tips though. No, but here's the trick. It is olive oil that with spruce tips in it. The spruce okay. tips have been sitting in the oil for about six months now. And we're going to douse the somewhat astringent and a little bit bitter dandelion greens with some spruce tip oil and okay. a little squeeze of lemon. Okay. More of that citrus. And these are all very light dishes. Yeah, which these are very is like appropriate summery. for this time of year. Yeah. It's busting with mm. light out there. We're going to move on to dessert. Okay, so this is a little bit of. <clears throat> reserved um, spruce tip sugar. Okay. So if you've got a favorite shortbread recipe, you can just grind a couple of tablespoons of spruce tips up with the sugar wow. that goes into the, into the spruce tip shortbread. In an airtight container, it will keep for a long time. It'll keep that real um, spruce liveliness. That's what I'm learning here actually is that spruce tips have a lot of longevity. They do. I mean six months in the oil, you can freeze them, you can dry yeah. them, you can yeah. keep them in sugar. I'm the luckiest girl I know. You can have her for this breakfast. This is so I'll send you good. Home some. Thank you for sharing all your spruce tips tips with me today. You're so welcome Lauren. Until next time on The Boreal Chef.